Hey, this is Brett with Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. I'm super stoked today because we have the first 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unwil Unlimited Willys Edition on our lot. In addition, we have the first 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited with the 3 liter Eco Diesel on our lot as well. Yes, this one has the 3 liter Eco Diesel with 260 horsepower, 442 foot pounds of torque. It's going to get you 29 miles per gallon. Yes, 29 miles per gallon on the highway, 22 city for a combined total of 25 miles per gallon on a Jeep Wrangler. This one is an ocean blue metallic. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the styling and looks of this particular Jeep um, and to find out a lot about it too. For this year, we have brand new tires. They uh, have the Firestone Destination MT2s. I've never seen these tires before. They're LT255 75R17s. They've got a pretty aggressive mud terrain uh, pattern on them. You get the Willys sticker on the hood. You get the blacked out Jeep and Wrangler Unlimited stickers and badge on the side, as well as the blacked out trail rated badge. I'm just gonna jump right into the, underneath the hood here because that's what everybody wants to see on this uh, Eco Diesel is the engine. And then we'll get up close so you can hear it run. It's actually not that loud. And like I said, 29 miles per gallon on the highway. It does have start-stop capabilities, which is one of the reasons you're gonna get 22 in the city. But a combined total of 25 in a Wrangler is uh, it's pretty amazing, uh, especially for how heavy these vehicles are. Uh, the other thing to note on the Willys here is the gloss black grille and the gloss black headlight bezels, or uh, I'm sorry, fog light bezels. Got the tow hooks in the front. You still get the little sandals on the uh, hood piece there. I'm going to take a look at the original window sticker just so you can check out everything that the Willys package has to offer. I'm not going to stick around on everything too long, um, but feel free to pause it at any second. So everything on the left is your standard equipment for the sport package. Your optional equipment is the Ocean Blue Metallic, which is $245, and then the Willys package is a $1,700 um, package, which gives you those Moab black rims, the anti-spin differential, the heavy-duty four-wheel disc brakes, the window tint, the all-weather topographical floor mats, the color bumper with gloss black, the rock protector sill rails, which are those rock wheels on the side. And then this one has the heavy duty um, electrical group and trailer tow group, which is a 795 option. And I believe with the Eco Diesel, you can pull up to 3,500 pounds when equipped properly. Has the eight speed automatic transmission and the three liter Eco Diesel. The Eco Diesel is a $4,000 option and the transmission is a $2,000 option. You kind of got to get those two together. Um, so basically a $6,000 upgrade if you went from like say a stick shift with a V6 in it to this. It has a three piece hard top which is a $1295 option and then it does have the engine block heater. Total MSRP is 43420 and uh, there's your miles per gallon, 29 highway, 22 city, 25 combined total. Awesome, just awesome. Everything that a Jeep owner has ever wanted is uh, right there. All weather, topographical, Floor mats, I really dig those. I was a geography miner, so I always like the topographical maps. Those are those rock rails on the door sills there. In case you're going over rough terrain, you're not going to damage your body on your vehicle. You get the four-wheel drive logo on the back, the matching spare tire and rim. That's where your backup camera is. And there's that tow group. You get the four-pin and seven-pin wiring, as well as the receiver hitch. Get a tow hook back here as well. There's the Eco Diesel logo. I still like it. I saw these at the auto show earlier this year and uh, you could not look under the hood. You could not hear it run and you could not drive it. I drove this one and the pickup is amazing. With that 442 pounds of foot, foot pounds of torque, you're definitely going to get up and go. Zero to 45 in this thing is great. Um, you still have all the bolts. You can still take these tops off. 
uh, four bolts on each side and then two quick disconnects and that comes right off. They got storage for the quick disconnects. You get storage underneath here. You also get the door hinge, roof and windshield bolt holders. And then uh, they made these doors a lot lighter back here now and they close a lot better than the JKs. You get that JL badge right there which is pretty cool stuff. Feel free to pause and check that out. Just wheelbase and water fording and overall length of the vehicle. Those doors shut so nice now. It's really nice, has the black um, fuel door, and it also has DEF, and then uh, of course they make this green so you know that you gotta put diesel in it. Very good looking Wrangler. I really dig it inside. It's kind of a base package being the sport package. You get the black cloth interior, the driver's seat height adjuster. They do come with side current airbag standard now, and they, uh, they got that airbag logo right there. So that you know it has those side current airbags to get the topographical map, uh, topographical floor mat in here. Manual windows, manual locks, and uh, you do get the digital speedometer and instrument cluster there. And you can change these to be right now somebody's got it on compass and compass, but you can make it compass and time or compass and temperature, compass and miles per gallon, whatever you want to make it. It's pretty easy to do that. You do that with these buttons right here. You got Bluetooth and you connect. You also have audio buttons on the back of the steering wheel and then you have cruise control on the right. Comes with the five inch touch screen radio, AM and FM radio. Uh, also has the backup camera, which is a pretty high definition backup camera and it has the dynamic grid lines, meaning that they're gonna turn as you turn that steering wheel. So pretty cool stuff right there as well. Now you got your climate controls here, your start stop capabilities. It, yes, this does have start stop. Stability track, downhill assist control. You get an AUGS, USB, and USB C um, hookup right there. You got your four auxiliary upfitter switches, a 12 volt power point, and then you get your eight speed automatic transmission, your four by four shifter on the floor. So here's your key fob. Uh, it's kind of a proximity key so that when the key's in the vehicle and you press the push button start, you know it knows to start the vehicle. Um, but there's no lock or unlock because it doesn't have power locks on it, it just has the flipper key which you use to unlock the doors. Kind of weird, but still kind of cool to have that big chunky key fob right there. You get the kind of grayish, tannish, silverish dash trim right there. Looks really good. And then these uh, front pieces come off a lot like the old Wranglers. You still have the quick disconnects there, except they don't have the screw-ins in the back, which is, in my opinion, good because Nobody ever used those anyways. You also got LED interior lights, which is really nice. A lot of people used to always just swap those out as soon as they got a Wrangler because it was always so dim. Um, adjustable seat belts, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not a very uh, lavish, ton of option sort of vehicle. They did make a lot more room in the back seats, which I like. You get latch child safety system back here. And uh, that all-weather floor mat goes all the way across to get these seats down. Just put them down like so, nice and easy. The other thing I like is that you can have the headrest down and still have the seat up. I think the old ones, you couldn't do that. So you, now you can either just put the headrest down or you can put the whole seat back down, which is really cool. And uh, you do get the child safety locks on the back doors. And I'm going to do one more final walk around here of this particular Wrangler just because I really dig the ocean blue. And the Willys package is a really good looking package as well. And I'd personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you will have gotten a really good feel for the vehicle. And uh, like I said before, uh, we did a 0-60. to 60. You got to check that out. It's in the upper right hand part of the screen. A link to that video. And uh, to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to our website, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. A link to more Wrangler videos like this one on your right if you have not been to our website on the bottom link to this vehicle on our website. Click that, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2020 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Willys Edition with the 3 liter Eco Diesel in Ocean Blue Metallic. Thanks again.